Hi, in this tutorial, we will see how to migrate MS SQL database to Postgres SQL. In order to reduce operational cost, companies are migrating paid license SQL server like MS SQL or Oracle to open source relation database like MS SQL or Postgres SQL. The same method can be implemented to convert schemas of Oracle or MS SQL to MySQL or any relation database. We will download AWS schema conversion tool from Amazon Web Service website. And download the driver for MS SQL and Postgres SQL respectively. In the meantime, don't forget to subscribe to the channel code space and comment if you have any doubt. We need to install the Amazon SCT from downloaded zip file. We will select source database from which we need to convert. For time being, I will select Oracle to show how to import the driver. This is just a one-time activity. So when we select MS SQL instead of Oracle, we need to include MS SQL driver in the same path. I will close this project and create a new project where source DB is MS SQL and target DB is Postgres SQL. We need to fill in respective server address, port and username and password to access the SQL server. On the left side, we can see all the databases from all G9 MS SQL is populated in the tool. Next, we will connect to Postgres SQL Server. I have the following configuration to connect. There is only one schema in test PG database. We can select the whole DB to be converted, but to keep it simple, I will go with only those two tables which has foreign key and primary key. Right click and select the load schema. Then replace. Here we will get the preview what will be created in Postgre DB. On test DBO, we will right click and apply to database. This action will make the changes on the database. By default, it will create another schema for maintenance. We will delete it later. So once we refresh the database, we can see both the schemas. We will drop this. And inside test SQL DBO tables, we can see the sequence is created along with both the tables and primary and foreign key. Sometimes there can be some fail scenario which AWS SCT might not able to convert and those will be shown on the right side section and need to be converted manually. That's all for this tutorial. If this video is helpful, hit the like button. Thanks for watching this video.